Yo, what is up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you guys a little speed up tip for Fortnite and streaming it. So if you guys are new to streaming and of course you have like maybe a brand new PC or you don't really know what to do because you switch straight from console to PC and you guys want to stream your Fortnite and it's not really going well when you're trying to stream it because performance is not that great and etc. So this means that your Fortnite and your stream isn't really optimised at all for streaming. Now, first of all, I do recommend for recording OBS Studio and then for streaming Streamlabs OBS. As Streamlabs OBS is optimized for your graphics card and to make your gameplay as smooth as possible. You guys can go ahead and download Streamlabs below in the description. Go check it out and download it. Alright, so getting on to this video, we're going to go ahead and show you guys some optimizations you guys can do to make your FPS and your game a lot smoother. Rendering buildings, FPS stutters a lot less as well. So what we're going to do is first of all we're going to go ahead and right click on the desktop and click refresh twice. Now it's on that go ahead and right click and go to the video control panel. Obviously if you're AMD you can look up a video of it. Now what we're going to do is just wait for this to open. Might take a second or so. Now what you guys want to go ahead and do is once you're in here go to manage 3D settings and go to program settings. Now what we're doing here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to optimize our graphics card for streaming so you'll go ahead and click add. And then once this comes up, select pro select Fortnite as your selected program. Now on here, you guys want to just pause the video on each part and just copy all of these settings. So once you guys have done them settings, you guys are good to go. Click apply and exit out. Now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and search up settings. Now in settings we're going to do a couple of things, disabling a couple of th things. So we're going to go ahead and go to gaming. I think I've clicked on upgrading security by accident. Yep, I did. So you're going to guys click on gaming. And here you want to click record game clips and screenshots from game bar. Just turn that off. Go to uh, go to game mode, turn that off as well. Now it does seem like obviously like Windows will be like, oh yeah we'll optimize your computer. It really it doesn't help. It really doesn't help. Okay, so the next things you guys want to go ahead and do is go ahead and go to your your run box. So you want to click Windows key and R at the exact same time. Now you want to look up MS Config. Now in MS Config, you guys want to go ahead and you want to go. So once you see this little box here, go to boot, go to a timeout and put this on three, and then go to advanced options. Now yours will probably look something like this. Now as you can see. Obviously, your number of processors is on one, so you guys want to go and set this to the maximum number that you can. So obviously, mine's four because I've got four cores in my core on my processor. Now, on maximum memory, you want to go ahead and set this to like just click on the button here and then just click OK, click apply, OK, OK. Should say exit with restart. Just click exit without restart. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be going to head and going to this PC. Now in here we're going to go ahead and on this little black bit here we're going to right click, click properties. In here we're going to go to advanced system settings and in here we're going to go to performance. Now on here you're going to click adjust for best adjust for best performance and you want to click smooth uh, smooth edges screens and fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons and you're going to click apply and OK. So once you guys have done that, you guys are pretty much okay on the Windows side of settings and the graphic card side of settings. Now onto your streaming, obviously. So Streamlabs does look pretty much the exact same as this. So as you can see, we've got a lot of settings in here that we're using. So obviously I'm streaming on... I, I don't really stream on here, I use Streamlabs. But what you guys want to do is go ahead and copy some of these settings. Now depending on your internet, you can set this wherever you want, really. So obviously, you want to make sure it's Nevenk, obviously. Event, uh, NVIDIA encoder, otherwise you're not going to be streaming on your graphics card. Software times six, uh, 268, 264 is your CPU, so you obviously don't want to stream on that. Now for this you want to set it on low latency performance. You can set it to performance or max performance or quality, but I do recommend quality or low performance or uh, max uh, performance. So yeah, you can set one of these. So I'm going to click quality and apply. So once you guys have done that, make sure you have some sort of settings like this. So obviously like you want to make sure your base canvas resolution is the exact same as your monitor. So mine's 1920 by 1080. Then all I've done here on my output is downscaled it to 810p, which is alright. Now obviously make sure it's on billionaire and you can either do 30 or 60 FPS depending on what kind of smoothness you want. Now the next one I really like is setting hotkeys. Obviously you don't have to do it, but it's quite cool to do that. 
Okay, so the next one is obviously streaming, so you can get your stream key, etc. Now make sure your process priority is on normal, as you guys don't want your PC to overheat or anything like that, so yeah. So the next thing is you guys want to go ahead and go to your Fortnite in-game settings, and we're going to be setting an FPS cap on Fortnite. Now obviously if you guys don't want to do this tip, it is really, really helpful, I promise you, if you have a bad CPU, or a bad, like, I don't know, GPU, this is a really good tip for you guys to set your FPS to like a cap. Now what I've done is, because my, my CPU isn't the best, I've gone ahead and set my FPS to, um, I've gone ahead and uh, capped my FPS to 80. Now the only reason is, is because I play on 76Hz and I just decided to cap it to 80. Because I'll show you my CPU here, I've got an i5 4690K, if it loads, give it a sec. There we go. So I've got an i5 4690K and I've got a NVIDIA GTX 1650 and I've got 8GB DDR3 memory. Uh, so yeah. So you guys want to go to app data, go to local, Fortnite game, saved, config, windows client, game user settings. Now if you guys can't click on it, go ahead and right click, go to properties, uncheck read only, click ok, and watch on that, you look fine. So once you're in here, you want to go ahead and click control F, and you want to look up frame rate limit. Now once you guys have found it. Go ahead and click on here and just go ahead and set this to whatever number you want. Now, I do recommend 80, 100, or if you're on 144 hertz, I recommend 141 is a really good FPS as well. Um, it, is, it might seem a bit odd to put your number at that, but depending on what kind of computer specs if you have. Now, if you guys have a two cores, um, two thread CPU, so to check that, you go to Task Manager, Performance, and in here you can see it here. So, logical processes is your threads, and your cores are your how many cores you have. So. As you can see, I have four cores, four threads, so yeah. So you guys want to go ahead and, so if you have four cores, four threads like me, set your FPS to around 80 to 100, depending on what kind of CPU you have. If you have four cores, eight threads, you can set it to about 100 to 120. If you have two cores, two threads, set it to about 60 or 60 or 75, if you can. Um, if you have two cores, four threads, obviously do the exact same. If you have 6 cores, 12 threads, set it to about 144, but up, up from there you can set it wherever you want, but this is just so you guys can get the best streaming quality. Obviously if you guys are playing tournaments, you can go all out with your FPS, but I think 80 is a really good FPS just for me. So once you've done that, you go ahead and click file, save, and you can exit out of there. So yeah guys, that pretty much concludes our today's video of Fortnite, and the, oh no wait, no, there's still one more thing that we can do. So I made a new FPS boost pack. Now what this is, it basically configures your PC to play Fortnite can better. So what this does, you can go ahead and download it in the description. Go ahead and go to config, and you want to go in and set which one you think is your best fits your computer. So for me, I think recommended will. So obviously there'll be files in here. You guys can go ahead and copy. Now you want to go ahead and get these three files. So obviously there'll be these three files of here. Now you want to go ahead and go to app data. And you're going to go to local, Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client. So once you're in here, go ahead and drag. So if you're on recommended or high or low, you'll be have three files like this and just drag them into there. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. That's why there's no files in the recommended one. But once you've done that, just go ahead and X out of that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go in here again. Go to optimizations, go to Fortnite 2 process and put it to which one you think is best fits. So for me, I normally do above, pro, um, above normal priority as it does best fit my computer if you have it on high priority that's probably not good for streaming but it'll be okay it'll be like your fortnite will be more uh your computer specs will be more dedicated to make fortnite run better so and the normal is obviously setting it back to normal now the graphics card settings obviously we've gone through these there's amd radeon ones here if you guys want to see them now our next thing we have here is I islc now this is what this is it's intelligent standby list cleaner go ahead and open it just click yes now on here you guys want to go ahead and wait for it to open should be down here. Give it a sec. There it is. So you guys want to go ahead and right click on. It. Oh no, you can't. So that's just going to run in the background. I think. I don't know. Is it going to come up on the screen? Probably not. No. Okay. Okay. So we'll go back to that in a minute. Go to Reg Optimization Files and go to here. Disable DVR1 Reg. So just go on. or do all of these except these ones here. So these last two ones you can do here are basically just so full frame switch there. Game optimizations. 
yes okay now these are loads of med optimizations is kind of what kind of pc you have so if you have medium to high do the medium to high i'm going to do low to medium so i'm going to click yes okay so once you've done that go ahead and go back to command.txt now as you can see here there should be a command here go ahead and click windows key and then type in cmd on here right click go to run as administrator click yes and then go on here just paste that there and as you can see it come up with that now to enable ultimate performance you guys want to go ahead and type up this pc go to so right click again go to properties uh, advanced system settings and then this time you want to go to where is it where is it fuck Oh no, 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 completely wrong. You want to go to control panel. Oh fuck, so it's been slow again. Alright, so to, to enable this ultimate performance, you want to go ahead and go to. So you want to write, uh, you want to do Windows key and you want to search up um, power. Oh uh, fuck. Um, my W doesn't work, so I don't know how I'm going to do this. Uh, oh. <laughs> Bless me. Then look up power options. Oh fuck, did the wrong one. You got edit power plant. Now once you're in here, you want to go ahead and turn this to never. Click save changes. Now once you're in here, go ahead and click on ultimate performance. If it's not there, click down on the down menu. And as you can see, there's loads of I have here already saved. Make sure you have ultimate performance on. Now you want to go ahead and make sure command prompt is still open. Now obviously, if you want, to, you need to turn off HT. HPT. So you want to go ahead and go back to command prompt. You go to run as administrator. Yes. Now in here, what you guys want to do? Put that there. Click enter. If it says an error occurred, that means it's already been disabled. But if it comes up with success, it's been obviously like deleted. Then you guys are good to go. Both are fine. Obviously, you don't have to like comment about this one because it's that means it's already been deactivated. So next one, uh, you don't need to create a, redist a restore point. You can if you want. Now also the next one is your Fortnite files, so not Fortnite files, um, your Fortnite configuration file. Now what you want to do here is make sure that you use all available cores, no splash, prefer press this for, no touch streaming. So you want to go back into Task Manager and basically you want to set this to how many cores you have in your computer. So obviously I have four, so as you can see it says four cores, so I set this to four. All you guys want to go ahead and do is get this whole string here and copy it. Now you want to go ahead and go into the Epic Games Launcher. So I've got to look up Epic. So you want to wait for this to open and give it a second. There we go. So now the game's launch is opened. You guys want to go ahead and wait for this to actually load. <gasps> Alright, so once it's loaded, go to library. Now you want to go to settings, sorry. And then go down to Fortnite. Add additional command line arguments. So just click this. Obviously, if there's anything in there before, just delete it. But if there's nothing in there, just do Control V, paste that in there. And you want to click this. Settings back. And then X, X, X. So, yeah, guys, that's been it for this video. If you guys have enjoyed this little video, make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, do what you guys want. If there is any problems remember to follow along very carefully but if there is any problems guys let me know in the comment section but anyway guys thanks for watching the video bye